think she yelled some hole in them. <laughs> yeah, she's pretty excited. <laughs> we have a hard time, Glenn, separating our voice with our body action. Yes. You know, it's one of the, yes. Yeah. So just really try and separate that. That smartened her up. He wants her to feel, like get a feel for the pressure, mm -hmm. I think. And just kind of learn to hold them. hold them and not lose confidence by biting, going in and biting. Teaches them to really like, slow down and not have an adrenaline spike, I guess. Like, what a difference from this morning! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Questions. I have a question. So yes. when you bring them to like the B or the E, like 
What are you <coughs> wanting? The, I know you're wanting the dogs to bring them to you, but are you wanting them to hold them there and then when you ask them to peel them off the wall? That's right. Okay. So, okay, here's a good question. Why <coughs> am I getting them to go across from one side to the other? Mm. If you take Gus's dog, who feels quite comfortable fading away, <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. Because of the pressures we put on. I put some pressure on this dog and he was, she was starting to fade. Young dog, seven and a half months old. Mm -hmm. I then want to get her to come back and get this belt. Did you see some of the moves she did when she mm -hmm. was going up where mm -hmm. she was using that belt? That's mm -hmm. part of what I want to develop anyway. Mm -hmm. So put a little pressure on, hold them, and then step in and say back and have them pull her off, right? Okay. So I'm starting to increase the degree of difficulty, walk up, uh, because usually when we send our dogs, these sheep just come running to you. So I want to set something up to where this dog actually has to walk on to where it's all tense saying, I can't go any further, uh, I'm losing confidence. And then I just say, that's, you know, I, with a soft crutch, I say, hey, that's good. And then I help him bring him back up. So I'm just working on some different things to uh, let them know that I don't want them to back out beyond the flight zone. Mm -hmm. The reason I'm giving my back is not to go and quit. It's just to get out to that flight zone, to give to the stock. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I'll get them to come in and <coughs> step in the back. Okay. Go back out and let them bring them back off and see where they want to dive in. If they want to dive in, soft correction and help them through it. Okay. Like she really you guys would be pretty happy. Uh, I'm thrilled. And she, like, she, I don't know whether you guys could hear, but he was giving her such soft corrections that she was... She was just Even really responding to yeah. the ears were in tune to me yeah, and the stock. Yeah. And that's, uh, I'm going to need a big piece of duct tape to put it. <laughs> 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 we have some <laughs> shit <laughs> down Okay, does that make sense, you guys? <laughs> why, yeah. why I'm doing that, right? To, uh, and how important that relationship is so that we can start speaking to them quietly and developing them a desire to listen instead of us forcing them to listen. Mm -hmm. Alright, so when we think of your recall yesterday in that small building, <laughs> to the way she was responding to a soft plan now, right? Yeah. That's... Mm -hmm. And she came with me. Oh, yeah? I mean, she's just way up. But the, the reason why I backed her up <laughs> yeah, yeah. is when she got up and left, she came in. So then I'm going to correct that first. Back her up. Stop her. Release. And walk away. It slowed her mind down. Too. Absolutely, yeah. And so when you said get six feet from her, was I going too far in the too triangle far, yeah. away from her when yeah. I was really, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she wasn't right. ready for that amount. Right. The reason you don't walk right at them is you're walking into a <coughs> bubble. Right. right. So just far enough away that you're not pushing them away, but that you can draw those eyes to you right. so that they come. Is that another thing you work on when you're peeling them off the wall, is to teach them to slow down? Oh, absolutely. When they, right when they get in between the sheep and the wall, like, they just... Yeah. That's what you want to teach them, If they them want to? a slingshot through, mm -hmm. like, really drive through, I'll catch them on the other side. And give them a correction and say, no, nah, that's not okay. the way you peel. If that was the way you peel... Uh, you can get away with it with sheep. You can, you can allow a dog to go and crash in between sheep and mm -hmm. they'll get away with it. But try that with cattle. Oh, so would you send not that back around and make them come all the way around to that side? Probably. I, I'd do, catch them on the other side. If, they, if I couldn't catch them ahead of time to slow them down, yeah. and I just saw them, then what I would do is catch them on the other side and send them back and say, no, that's not the way to do it. And then I'd just work it to where they can start pulling them off with confidence. Because the reason they speed up is lack of confidence. Yes, yeah, so they're in tight quarters. Right? Yeah, that's lack of confidence. So then I'd say, hey, I'm going to show you how to do this with confidence. Okay? Have you had